Okay, let's start out by using um, a color by Sally Girl. It's called Taupe. You can't really see the color on this video, but it's like a taupe. Yeah. So I'm going to put that on the inner one third of my eye. Is the screen, is the TV jumping? I'm just going to put that. I've already started out by putting Too Faced Shadow Insurance all over my eye. Putting that also on the inner tear duct. I'm going to go also on the bottom one third of my eye as well. Let's kind of pull that up a little bit just to kind of make things blend better. Put a little bit more on my bottom one third. Okay, then I'm going to go in with um, Electric Eel. It's this bright blue. It's a blue that you see, you know, when you go to MAC and you're like, hey, who's using that? I'm using it. So, um, it's a really pretty color. I just, I can't wear it full strength all over my eye or else it's going to look really bad. So, any flat shader brush will work. 239, that kind of thing. And I'm just dabbing it on my eyelid on the inner Sorry, middle, middle one third. I'm not going to worry about blending it in yet to that taupe, the Sally Girl eyeshadow yet because I'll get to that. When, when it's my brush has already been saturated with color, I don't want to try to blend it. I'm going to brush off and then blend. So I'm wiping off my brush just a little bit. And now I'm just tapping in that area right between the taupe. and the electric eel. So now I have those two blended up close, see? And then now I'm going to work on my um, outer one third. I'm going to use the same exact brush. Um, and I'm going to use this color called Deep Truth. It's by MAC. And I'm going to do the same thing. Just pat that color on. Just pat it on. I don't want any fallout. I've already put concealer on and everything. Last thing I need is some blue fallout under my eye. <laughs> Putting that color on. And then again, remember I was telling you when I blend between two colors, just pat lightly after I put packed on the color on the auto one there. Just tap lightly in between the two colors. Now I'm going to work in building this up. So I'm just going to go slightly past my crease right there. I can work better with this darker blue on my crease versus like the electric eel. It's just a little too much for me. And I'm going to a wedding today so I don't want to do too much, you know. It's my coworker getting married so and my old boss. so. Like I said, I didn't want to go too heavy on the blue. It's a little dramatic for a wedding, but you know, it's summer, whatever. So I'm just going to pack that blue on. Okay. So I have the basic shape for my eye now. Then I'm going to take um, this another Sally Girl color. It's called Black Brown. A little bit darker than your taupe. And I'm going to take a... Any kind of loose brush, um, this is just a generic brush I use, but any kind like a 224 would work perfectly. And I'm going to use this as my blender color. The reason why I like using blender colors, neutrals, is because you can wear a color like these blues that you think you would, could never wear. But when you put anything with the browns, 
it automatically makes it wearable. Like people don't look at, think you're crazy, you know, for wearing it. So I'm just gonna, in that area right between your crease and then your highlight, I'm just gonna go ahead and put that um, Sally Girl Black Brown. Like I said, these shadows are 99 cents, 89 cents with the Sally card. Even in a recession, you can afford to get the whole line. And then, just to make the other eye look the same, I'm going to go back in with my 217 brush into the Deep Truth again, just lightly, lightly. And this is what I'm going to use to kind of build my color up. So I say stand back and evaluate and see where you need extra color. Okay, so I'm getting the same on both sides. Then I'm going to go in with, um, this is any flat brush, and I'm going to be using um, Naked Lunch. I like that name. And I'm using that as my highlight. I'm just going to dab it. Dab it and pull it down. You see I'm not doing any brushing, just pulling it down. That's all you really need with a highlight like this. More. And then I'm going to go back in with the uh, Sally Girl Black Brown. Just kind of blend those two together. Okay, and I'm looking at both of the eyes and I, I see that I need um, more of the deep truth. Okay, so I got both the eyes looking the same. And I realize also that if you look up close, my electric eel is coming off. So I'm going to wipe off that flat shader brush that I was using a while ago and go back in with the electric eel. I'm just going to pat it. I had lost some when I added the deep truth. Then I'm going with carbon and my uh, 226 brush. With carbon eyeshadow or any matte black. And I'm just going to barely put this in my outer V. Just to give me a little more dimension. I'm just going to go here and make my little V. Round that edge out. See how it makes my eye, give my eye a little more shape. Just barely putting it there. Go into my lower lash line and use, um, with any just small pencil brush, um, the Deep Truth again as a little bit of my liner. I'm not even going in all the way, you know, because I already have that uh, taupe at the bottom. Wipe off that same brush and just go over the outer one third with the carbon, with the black. Just right here. Just connect that lower part. Okay. My camera's like focusing. Okay, so I got both of the eyes looking the same. I'm going to come back, put some lashes on, and I'll show you the final look. Alright, I'm back, and this is the final look. Give me a close-up. I'll have some still shots at the end. Um, I also use Slave to Love blush, and I contoured a little bit. I guess you can call this contouring with blunt blush. And um, I just use um, black eyeshadow, the carbon for my liner, and I put on the... Ardell Demi Lovies. And that's it. Pictures will be at the end. Thanks for subscribing and watching, guys. Bye.